another video on my channel. Today we're going to be doing a gel polish five different ways. So um, I hope you enjoy what I'm about to show you. Before we get started on the video, I did just want to mention that me and a couple of my nail tech friends, Emma and Iona, have started up a nail tech support group, NTIS UK. So if you're interested in joining that, I'll drop the link down below. You can chat about nails and get advice and everything else in that group. So today we are going to be doing these five looks which I posted on my Instagram the other day so you may have already seen them and we're just going to be doing this kind of like five different almost marbly effects, tie dye effects but using a couple of different techniques. So to do the demo I'm using some different colours just so that you can see them with lighter colours. So I'm using Halo Gel Polish in Mint, My Angel and in Powder Blue. So and I am going to throw a little bit of glitter on one of them later. I'm just using Stiletto Clear Full Cover Tips, I'm also using a striping brush and I'm going to be using some alcohol and we'll be using a couple of bits later on that I'll show you as well. I'm also using Halo's Thick Top Coat in this video today, you don't need to use that one, you can use whatever you like. So I am starting off by just blobbing some different colours onto this nail just with the brush, just make sure you don't cross contaminate those colours going back into your bottle, but I'm just randomly blobbing these gel polish colours all over the nail, making sure there's a good mix of colours in different areas. Don't worry too much if you have some empty areas because when we come in with this brush we're going to fill them in. So I've saturated this brush in my alcohol and I'm just sort of tapping the two colours together, moving them around so they start to marble. So a very, very light touch. You do want to do this quite slowly so you don't end up smushing the colours together and then just ending up with a blob. You want to work on the edge of each colour where each colour meets to begin with to just sort of blend them in and then you can start moving them around a little bit more. So I have sped this up a little bit, so you do want to be moving slightly slower. I just sped it up to time, you don't want to be sitting here for ages watching me. So um, once you have smushed around and blended you all these colours, you sort of seeing this have a marble tie-dye, almost watery effect. You can see in my one there, there are a few air bubbles. I personally don't mind them, I think it adds to the look, but if you didn't want them there, you could just fill them in with a little bit more gel polish. I'm going to leave them on mine. So once you're happy with the look and you've just moved around your brush and achieved all the blend you want, then you're going to come in with your thick top coat. If you're not using a thick top coat, I top coat twice. Then moving on to our next nail, this one's a bit more simple. You're literally just going to stripe each colour onto the nail. I'm using my brush, if you didn't feel comfortable doing that, you could use your detail brush to cancel product and use your detail brush to do it. So I'm just making lines onto each of each colour in order. You don't want to use too, too much product. Of the blue there, that's probably a little bit more than you needed. You don't need huge, huge amounts of product on the nail. colours on there and you're happy you want to come in with that striping brush again and all you're going to do is start at one at the end of the nail and pull straight through to the other and you're going to continue to do that so next to that line you'll do another one and then next to that one you'll do another one and you'll just keep doing that until you have got the desired effect if you make a bit of a mess like I did there you don't worry you can come back in later and fix that so I'm flipping the nail round now and coming back from the other direction. You don't need to do this, you could just have it all going one way, it's entirely up to you. But I just wanted to show you with the both ways how you really get that tidy eye effect. And then I'm just coming back in with a little bit of product and tidying up that line before I top coat. So for this next design you are going to need a sandwich bag, just a simple sandwich bag and you are also going to use a dotting tool, you don't need to use a dotting tool, I was just showing you how I did it with this and I'm also using a bit of backing paper from some of the labels to decant my colours onto. Then I am just dotting them all over the nail randomly, much like we did with the first nail but I'm just using the dotting tool instead just to show you that as an option. I think I actually prefer just blobbing it on there with the brush to be honest but I thought I would show you with the dotting tool. So 
once you've got all your colours on there, you're literally going to wrap the sandwich bag around the nail and smush your finger to blend all those colours in together. What you don't want to do is smush it too hard or not have enough product on there and then not get a good effect. So you want to smush enough to blend all the colours together and have a nice effect, but you don't want to end up removing too much product, which I did when I did this because I wasn't paying attention, so I had to do it again. But once I had done it again, it looked absolutely fine. And I am going to add some glitter to this so you can see what it looks like with a bit of sparkle because I think adding glitter to some of these designs really, really brings it out. So the glitter I'm going to be using for this today is Showtime from Glitter Stella. Of course, I am a brand ambassador for them, so pretty much all of my glitters come from there. I love them. I'm using this little fluffy brush, which was actually just from the pound shop, and I am just applying a thin layer of base coat, and then just dipping the brush into the glitter, and then tapping it across the nail, tapping it and making sure there's more glitter in areas I want it to have more, and then not so much where I would like the more of the colours to shine through than the glitter. fourth nail now and this nail is much the same as the second nail that we did but instead of putting the colours on horizontally we're putting them on vertically so that the colours are going in the other direction and then when we come in with the detailing brush we're going to be going across the nail rather than up and down as we did before to create exactly the same design but just going the other way so that it creates a different look. So on to our last nail and for this one we are kind of combining some of the techniques that we've used in the other nails and coming up with yet a different kind of look. So again I'm smushing the colours onto the nail randomly using the brush, again not overloading the nail with too much product so it's running everywhere but still enough product to work with putting the colours where I think I want them to be and again it doesn't matter if we've got a few clear areas because once we come in with our brush we're going to tidy them up and fill them in. So using the brush in the same kind of way as we did before on the other nails, just pulling it through the product and pulling those colours into each other but rather than going in straight lines, sometimes I'm wiggling the brush for a wavy line, sometimes I'm tapping the brush to get them to blend together like we did on that very first nail and then I'm just creating that marbly look. Putting the colour colours into the areas that haven't got any colour there to make sure the full nail's got full coverage. And I want to point out as well, obviously I'm using Halo Gel Polish 99% of the time I am, it's my favourite gel polish brand. You'll notice that we didn't put down a white layer for any of these designs and we're getting perfectly good coverage on the nail. I find these colours to be really highly pigmented. I know some people seem to have an issue with it. If you are having an issue with your Halo Gel Polish not being pigmented enough, instead of shaking it, stir it and your problem should be solved. I've never had an issue with pigment for Halo. So again, I'm just going back in with my brush and working with that product until I get the kind of look that I want. And once I'm happy with it, I'll cure it and then I'll top coat it. So here's all of our five looks completed. So we've got five really quite different looks. I know the second and the fourth one are quite similar, but you're still ending up with a different finished look. I think the glitter on the middle one really brings it out. And of course you could do that on any of these designs. I just wanted to show you on the one. I decided to show you with the lighter colors so you can see that you really get some different looks from using different colors, different shades, different tones. You could do it with all neons. You could do it with all really dark colors and you're still gonna end up with beautiful 
beautiful, beautiful designs. So just comparing the two there, you can see how different they really, really are. Apologies for any issues with sound in this video. I am using my Mac instead of my iPad to edit, and let me tell you, never again. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you found this helpful and interesting as always. Any comments, drop them down below. If you want to contact me, you can do so on Instagram or Facebook. I have two of each, at Bestoke Dolly Nails and at Beauty by Harriet Christine. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon in the next one.